doesn't mean anything to what we're doing and nobody seems to want to learn a damn thing so oh well that's tough shit but we're on uh, youtube and facebook and uh, welcome back everybody so glad to have you for those of you new i'm reed booth killer b guy we got hosh on camera say good morning hosh good morning hosh it's morning somewhere yeah i mean you can't really say it's next week somewhere though boy phone's getting warm we're in the truck actually it just it just shut off really yeah. all we can do is capture Okay, well, let's capture on that it's one. It's too bad we had a lot of we had a lot of activity on Facebook, but oh, uh, sugar on a rag. And yeah. There's, uh, there's no way those uh, fans are going to work on that, or no, because they got to be plugged in. That's so, right, Don. If you're watching Don, on. I mean, the other thing we can do, yeah, is get off TikTok and go on Facebook. Uh, you know what? That's a better idea. You want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. That's a good idea. Stick with us, everybody. We're all right, it's, gang. It's hot out and shit, and we're yeah. trying to get this thing figured out. I'll hold the camera and get. So we're gonna stare we're gonna be done. We're gonna get off TikTok and go on yeah. Facebook. Yeah, we TikTok's getting to be such a pain in the ass yep. anyway. So you guys that are with us on TikTok, if you want to see this job, yep. go to Facebook or YouTube. Please go to Killer Bee Guy. Yep, Killer Bee Guy on Facebook or YouTube. Yep, just the way it is. Yep, we out. So anyway, uh, those of you who are still with us on uh, YouTube, um, thanks for sticking with us through all the glitches and shit. And uh, oh, she's having a party over there. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're but this is a big job. I, I, as usual, here we go again. I have no idea what the hell we're getting into. Uh, now we got more bees on the damned windshield. I mean, they're just there's look at them. They're flying all over the damn place. I'm pulling ahead. I'm not going to risk it. Right. Because I don't. Yeah, we got to put these suits on. We got to put the suits on and put on the uh, vest. So. Yeah. We're going to pull a ways away and uh, tough shit. So. Okay. Uh, we're live on. Uh, we're live on Facebook. Live on Facebook. Okay. Live on Facebook. Live on YouTube. Hopefully we'll be okay here, and those horses can run away a long ways away. So that's good. All right. So we're on. I gotta turn this off so it don't attract too much attention. All right, guys, back in the killer bee saddle, back live from the hive. Here we go, guys. All right, yep. here we go. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and get the suits on and shit. Come on with us, everybody. Man, they're all over the place uh, out we're here. We're gonna have to drive further away. Yeah, you know what it is? It's the truck, the bin oh, from the last oh, job. God, there's bees all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna call him. Yeah, Until suit up down the road. Yeah, we gotta drive away because our truck smells like a venom too much. So I mean, he'll be, a, you know what he'll think if we just drive away without telling him? All right. We got scared. Yeah. That don't happen. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Facebook, thanks for being with us. You know, the truth is, is we we got a lot more people watching, a lot more eyeballs on TikTok, but we'd rather, if we got to sacrifice one of them, we're going to sacrifice TikTok. Yeah. Just because we got better fans on Facebook. We got better fans on, on YouTube, YouTube. for sure, yeah. You know, it's just a more adult crowd. So thanks for being with us. We're going to, uh, we're going <laughs> to, we got a trailer job to do, and I think we're going to get a bunch of honey out of it. They, uh, they built up they built up a hive underneath this guy's trailer. They're very active and they're also very aggressive. We can't we can't get our suits on because uh, not calling. here. We've got to go down the road to put our suits on because there's so much activity right here right now. I'm just now. calling Charlie to tell him we're driving down the road a little bit so he won't think we're leaving scared. Yeah. <laughs> with the uh, with the horses over here like this. I'm gonna ask him about that too, but they can run. We've just gotta we've got to get some place where we can get. Hey Charlie, at three. Yeah, okay, I just wanted to let you know we're not running away scared. We have to drive down the road to get suited up because our suits and the and the truck smell like the enemy too much to them, and they're all over it. Yeah, okay. So, so we're gonna. I thought I thought for sure you'd think, oh fuck, they got scared and ran away. No, that don't happen. All right. Okay. The, and the only we're live on Facebook and YouTube if you want to watch now. Um, the horses. Um, they got the horse and the and the burrow or the mule. They they got quite a range to run in, right? Oh, yeah, that ten acre parcel over here. They go way the hell on the other side. All right. Well, they're gonna have to, I think. I I hope they don't get chased off, but there ain't much I can do. Sit. Say it again. 
Say that again. The bees are right. You bre out the front. Uh -huh. You're breaking up. Oh. I can't hear a word. No. I, I think I think we lost you. We're um we're gonna go get suited up and come back. Uh, call me on this number if you need to call me. Yeah, all right. I don't know what the hell happened to that shit, but anyway, hopefully we can get, get our, uh... All right, well, let's go get, we can get our suits on here. These are mean bees. Yeah. We're in for a fucking war. Yeah, hey, they're still all over us. They still are? Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, they're bouncing off the windshields. You know, that I'm worried about them goddamn horses now. I mean, they got 10 acres to run in. Which I hope is enough. Uh, we're going to be going through some spray adhesive here. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any bees here right now. I guess that's hey, AZ Ranger, thanks for being with us. Hey, hey. Oh, oh that's hey. Armando, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's Armando. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, Armando. Hey, Armando, we're out. He'll know where we are. He knows more about the just neck of the woods than pretty near anybody. We're out on um, off of Leslie Canyon on Dakota and Papago. <laughs> they're no, still bouncing. Look at this. They're still fucking bouncing off of us. Man, we got what, those horses are gonna scare the fuck out of me. Um, we gotta drive a ways away until we can get suited up and go back. We're gonna be going through some spray adhesive on these sons of bitches because uh, the horse, there's a horse and a, and a mule right there. They got ten acres to run in. Damn, I don't know if that's enough. When we get back down there, you know what? I might try to call Charlie again. Do you know Charlie Armando? Yeah, I don't know if he does, Charlie. Between Armando and I, we know pretty much everybody in the Oh, he game. doesn't seem to know where it is. He's questioning it. Well, so am I, actually. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing here? Well, we're just past Douglas. We're up on Leslie Canyon. Oh, yeah, off Leslie And uh, before uh, Davis. Uh, here, Google it, Armando. It's southeast, west, and north of Bumfuck. You'll know right where it is then. Damn it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five. Well, hey, Don. Thanks for being here. Don, uh, I, I got to tell you, man, those those vests, we got, you know, and we've got replacement pouches. We just can't put all, them on all yet. All queued up right now. We're going to get into them. They're a lifesaver. Really, just as essential as the bee suits, I think. <laughs> now that... Yeah, we're easy. It's like we're out of range or something. No, right? I didn't dial it all the way. Okay. Oh, good. Well, I'm being told we got really good reception on Facebook, so. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're in Arizona. We're in Cochise County, Arizona. Bum fuck. Right on. Jesus God, I tell you. We're just west of the metro and the... Okay, can you hear me? Okay, good. I'm worried about that horse and that uh, that mule. I mean, they're... We're... Well, well, if, you, if you guys, when you guys come back, I'll put my beast on and I'll go up to the end. Were you guys suited up? No, we're... Uh, go we... up that barn and uh, go back into... Uh, back in the corner back there. And, I can... and then if, if they do get up, if the bees get in there, i just watch them up. I'll just open the gate out and let them out. Got it. Okay, that's what I needed to hear. All right, we're going to, hopefully, I don't see any more bees bouncing off the damn windshield. That's what I wanted to hear, Charlie. Thank you. We're going to try to get suited up and be back down in a minute. Okay, yeah. I'll, 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 keep, I'll keep them out of the horses up there, but if they get really bad, I'll just let them out and they can run. Okay, great. Okay, yeah. Well, get on your bee suit and then we'll be down in a bit. Thank you. All right, well, it's a fucking wild west, everybody down here. Um, that's good. Charlie's going to let that, he's going to take the horse back in the back 40 here or 10 and uh if the bees get bad he'll be in a bee suit now he has a bee suit he was going to keep bees <laughs> yeah that went out the window didn't it and so uh he was going to keep bees and he ain't no more and um <laughs> <laughs> there's a country song in there yes. somewhere he's gonna keep bees they ain't no more ain't no more ain't no anyway lost my fucking marbles and i haven't done anything yet welcome back to the hive everybody so glad to have you guys with us I'm hoping, look at, they're still on us. Yeah. I was giving it a minute because I don't want to get out of the gut. 
geez, they've chased us now all the way up this driveway. We're, oh, going on a half a mile away. Really hard to believe. Uh, I'm so glad you didn't let them horses run out here in Bumfuck because they, they got, you know, horses can outrun them. We can't. Yeah. And so... Of course, they, horses, though, when when they sting the horses, yeah. the, don't, don't the spots go necrotic? Yeah, yeah. If you have a show horse, I mean, they'll live, yeah. you know. I mean, most horses that get stung up by bees actually die from a heart attack. Right. Um, but... Oh, let's get on. We're just going to have to wing it. Yeah. No pun intended. Wing it! Oh, you're there, you're there. Jeez. All right. Wow. So look at that. There's the distance. What are we, like a quarter of a mile away? Uh, the house is down there. That's, uh, no, it's more than a quarter. It's more like a third. No, it's between a third and a half. Oh, wait, you got Oh yeah, yeah, Armando. We had like 50 people up there um, at the uh, dispersed campsite right before Rustler Park, and uh, went great. Went really well. We uh, we spit roast a lamb that we uh, slaughtered. That was pretty awesome. Is that what they're calling big big horn sheep now? <laughs> Lambs, huh? You're not supposed to butcher them there, horse. Anyway, <laughs> Armando shaking his head. I can see it from here. It was good. So Pretty check good. out check out these uh, cooling vests that uh, Don Shar got us. We loaded them up at the gas station back there, and so we're ready to throw them on and go. We got two more changes of uh, vests. We're gonna need them, and uh, I tell you, these things are lifesavers, aren't they? And they look like we're fucking bulletproof too. So <laughs> all the better. I'd like you guys to enjoy. That. That's the little abandoned place I was talking about right there. Oh, okay. You see that old building back in there? So, anyway, I gotta grab my suit. Alright, suit suit. Alright, so, yep, killer bees, it's a real thing. Like I said, honeybee Africanization is on the rise all over the United States. And uh, I think, yeah, you know, that that's, that's the main thing to keep in mind. So, whatever state you're in, even if you're up in the Northeast, where honeybee Africanization is not as prevalent, it's gaining momentum. These, are, it's a superior species. These bees win. Trust me. Like, like when it comes to the big, you know, evolution thing. These are the bees that are more fit. So they're they are a um, superior uh, species, and if you get attacked by them, then you have superior feces. <laughs> what? That's technical. What? It, it's in the book. Yes. The manual. No, it's true. I wrote it. It's true. Yeah. It's made, I read it, I read, I read it with crayons. Anyway. All right. We're uh, almost ready to drive back. Yeah. You want to get on your little blues yes. and your big blues and your blah, blah, and your bleep, bleep. I tell you guys, I'm getting my bee brain on because we got us a big one. We got us a big one higher. Darn it. Oh, yeah, I'm in a mood. I feel a lot better than I did this weekend. Weekend was tough. I was down for the count. Nice to be back amongst the living. <sighs> anyway, just uh, all this maturity over the years <laughs> is getting old. Uh, and have we got our big blues around? I think we're going to have to pull. You know, we really don't know. I think we're just going to have to get out the spray adhesive. And, and uh, it's, it's, it's going to be like the one we just did. It's going to be a bomb. But we are in the middle of bumfuck, so we're not as concerned about we're not concerned about anything. A bomb, a bee bomb and bumfuck. Bee bomb and bumfuck, baby, bomb and bumfuck. Okay, obviously I'm in the mood, but I should be. All right. So, God damn it. <laughs> my bra is now. Your bra <laughs> You're having trouble with your bra. <laughs> All right, let's go. Raise hell with these fucking bees. <laughs> All right, gang. Ready to go. Where's he at? 
Uh, all right, we're putting my bee back in beaver. You guys know what kind of a bee gives milk, of course, don't you? Yes. A booby! Okay, that's an old one. I need some new material. I didn't need any agreement from you guys out there either. Who all we got on with us here? We got the family on? Oh, yeah. Lee and Don and right Mel on. and... Yep. If you see Sky Hunter or 823, I need your address. I can send you honey, honey, because you you got the uh, you signed you got your membership at the Armando's a member. Oh yeah, I saw yeah. that. Ramo, Ramona's on here. Who is? Yeah, oh, yeah, Sky Hunter. You said Sky Hunter. Okay, Sky I'll watch. Hunter, yeah. I'll watch for him. Need the, need his address so I can send him a jar of honey yeah. every first of the month. So that's how that ball bounces. Oh, uh, should we give away a jar of honey? Well. Kind of hard to say. Now that you mention it. Hard to say no. Huh? Yeah. No, it's like no, not this one. So we're gonna give away a jar of our honey after this fiasco is over. <laughs> um, on and it'll be. Um, what are we live on? What the hell are we doing? What am I Fa doing here? Facebook what the fuck is going and on? YouTube. Facebook and YouTube. Yep. Okay, we're live on Facebook and YouTube. So uh, of course, subscribe. You know, we're trying to get shit going here too. Subscribe and follow or whatever friend. I don't fucking know and um, <laughs> And like like me, please like it. No, it does it's so, uh, And then comment Don't be too fucking snide, but you know be comment because Hosh is gonna at the end of this disaster um, uh, <laughs> I'm anticipating war over yes. here. Yes, I've got my bee yes. going here. Too. Yes got like eight things going on now at Now these are spicy bees. I used to compartmentalize shit. Now it's just like an earthquake happened. It's a jumble of shit up there. Um, shut up! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, um, anyway, um, comment. Because when we get done with this, the host is going to sit in here and scroll through the comments, throw a dart at the phone, or a dead bee or something. Yeah. And pick somebody randomly who gets a jar of honey, honey. Yep. And if you do win, I need your address. So send that to me at read at killerbeeguy.com and if you don't win, I don't need your damned address. Unless it, unless you sign up at the queen bee level on the uh, channel, then I definitely do because uh, I need to send you a jar of honey every month. So we're going to get back around here, throw on our nets, let him get his uh, bee suit on and come out and walk on the other end of this pasture with these horses so that he can draw them down there because I know damn well these bees chased us all the way up there about a, about a half a mile uh, and chased the truck up there. This is not good so I'm going to give him a call quick. A call. Well, Armando says the orange honey is his favorite. Orange honey? Yeah. You mean the mesquite? I think he's might be tough. Do you? Oh the orange, orange honey butter. Yeah, Orange yeah. honey butter? Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Of course so. Thank you, <laughs> Armando. <laughs> Try yeah, it. we're drinking water, no worries. We've been drinking water all day. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No choice in that matter. Hold but on thank you. Thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. No, staying hydrated. Yeah, it's key. Uh, hydrate, drink to the music. Hydrate, hydrate. All right. All right, how does this fucking thing work? Um, uh, I can't read it. Okay. All right, guys, we're almost getting ready here. Where is everybody? Oh, she's staring at the windshield. <laughs> anyway, you see my hand go back and forth. They're already out of here. Yeah. Goddamn bees. We, I ain't doing shit till he gets them horses. Okay. Yeah, is Charlie around? Okay, thank you, hon. Right. Bye-bye. Is he moving them? Yeah, he's going to move them down. He'll probably come down and bore us to death. I mean, say hi. <laughs> All right, gang. So if I have a choice, I don't love doing jobs under trailers. <laughs> but if I've I got a choice... I've long to do jobs under trailers. If I've got a choice between doing a job under a trailer or 20 feet up, under a trailer. I'd, I'd pick under a trailer any day. Well, you know, overhead is hard either way. Yeah. 
uh, you know, yeah. um, they're all over you already. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's driving down there. See that horse right there? That's yeah. why we're not going to go tie into it yet. But let's yeah. get out equipment and shit. Okay, sounds good. Kind of lay things out. Um, I feel it. I feel mecked. I'm not totally ensconced here, am I? Uh, let's see. Wait, no, will be. I saw what happened. I felt it. I felt the. I felt the errors of my way. I felt okay, the. Let's check. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's because this is going to be a nightmare. Check. I can tell already. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't all the way up. Nope. Oh my God, my barn door was open, everybody. No, not that one. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. there we go. Yep, they're on okay. us. There you go. Ah, uh, the gentle hum of something trying to kill your ass. <laughs> uh. Okay, guys. <laughs> yep. You got your gloves? I need uh, to get a new pair. I had to throw that pair out. Oh, no, you think? I mean, my God, we got to go to Harbor Freight and get some more of these. Birthing gloves for all your birthing pleasure. I don't know where that came from. They're all, all over us. See, at this point, these bees don't have any idea what to think of us. Damned horse is still over there. We ain't doing shit until the horse is gone. And the mule. Because uh, I worry about these things, and they kill horses. So, um, Okay, we're going to need... You know what? I'm going to look at the construction on this. Bees all over us, and all we've done is, is pull up. I mean, I know we smell like honey and stuff, but... Phillips. Okay. Phillips you got it. And it looks like one hive. And it looks like a pretty easy pull down. Okay. In fact, it's kind of nice because we can pull that down and, well, we'll probably just flip it over. Show you what we're looking at. Ahead. Weeds are adorable. Yes. But you see, halfway down. Yep. See, they're coming and going around to the top there. Yep. Active as hell. So this was bowing out here. Yeah. We got to make sure we don't screw up their right. line here. Right. Right. And uh, separate that down there. If we pull that back and then flip this over and lay it down, then we'll have something to grow on. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on with this dude, but it's adorable. Oh, it's, you know, this is probably a very beautiful vine. I don't know what kind of vine, but it looks like it was prolific at one point. Uh, is it still there? Yeah, I'm afraid that what he was thinking is if the horse runs down there, that he'll open it up. So we might have to just get started. Okay. Because, I mean, we have other people. Well, we can't, we can't lay this down unless we cut it. Oh no, there, that piece. Uh, we can disassemble it here. Okay, Phillips head. Yeah, this has got this here and there. Chain link on the new bed. Yeah. No. Further down, or some wire. This thing here, this is wire bar. Yeah. I mean, this bar. Yep. And another bar. Okay, well, that's not right. More bars in more places. More, I'll have I'll have a shot of uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, we got to kind of clean that up a little bit. Look at all that bubble. You see that? Yeah. Now they're not coming out right now because they're wondering who was that handsome devil that just walked by. Look at all that propolis, man. I see it. Uh, how hard is it going to be to separate the uh, phone no. line out? Uh. Not bad. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. You know, I'm going to get spray adhesive. But I'm going to have I'm, to. I'm going to have to focus on it. You know. I'm going to get spray adhesive to put under there right now since we have that crack to knock down from the garden. Okay. Now we're not going to hit any comb or anything because the comb is normally up under the plastic, which is up. So you got a sheet of plastic and then the insulation and then the sags and then the uh, I got the sags <clears throat> and then the uh, bees are under it. So, okay, we're going to. Uh, we're just going to kind of tie into it. I guess that Charlie has got, um, I like Charlie. He's seen good folks. Anyway, we're going to save him and the family and the horses here. Then we got to go down Douglas. I think it's on 8th. And a guy has a tree full of bees in the back. Hollow tree. He was 100 feet away from him, up on the roof trying to get the swamp cooler going. And they came up and chased his ass off. So, 
yeah not not good at all um i gotta get my b brain on guys what do we need here um spray adhesive we're gonna do spray adhesive first here, thank you oh yeah we definitely need our light get the battery in that oh boy so we're gonna get through there i'm gonna try to make a staging area out here first uh, boy oh boy and there's no way to really see i don't want to do too much construction work on this fence to rile them up too much so oh we got a nice hundred degree breeze that's awesome but you know what these cooling vests thank you don should we take those uh coolers off so we have access to tools uh, or it's up to you We got our uh, our clamp anywhere? Is that back up or? Up, up front. Okay, thank you. So I gotta get our adhesive clamp. So uh, we are uh, south of the Swiss Elms and north of Douglas, pretty much in bumfuck. So of course, you guys, as you know, I gotta get my bee brain on. And those of you that are new to the channel. These are all killer bees. We do not save them. We get rid of the little bastards. And um, here, Hosh, you want to grab this? Yep. Thank you. I got the right bar. I got that. I really want to knock out some of these guard bees. I don't want to see those horses run away. And Charlie coming back. We might give him a minute. I'm still going to knock them down. Every job, even though there are three basic types of jobs, there's a ball of bees hanging in the tree. They're all different. You never know what the hell he's going to do. Is he coming down here? And he's like parked down there for some reason. Okay, good. Alright, so look at all this propolis. They're under here. Oh my god, look at this. Yeah. The propolis all along here. Yeah, it's all sealed up. Yep. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. I was going to take this off. Take that off first though. Maybe we go in from here and we don't have to worry about the power line at all. You uh, see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Let me see if that's really good. Well, here we go. You know what? You want to um, uh, hold on, Tosh. I'm going to pull this back and I'm mm -hmm. going to dump because their front door is right here. I don't know why they were so pissy with us and they're not right now. You want to hold that for a sec? Yeah. And I'm going to look at down in there. There's all kinds of them. Yep. All right. So I am going to proceed. Oh, and I see comb. You do? Mm hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to proceed to knock down guard bees because they're not expecting us. And so we got to mitigate this a little bit. Oh yeah, there's comb. Oh, look at this, holy shit. Right there. Do you want to go ahead and unscrew that then yeah. while I'm doing this? Can you hold this? Yes, hold on. Mm -hmm. Here we go, guys. All right, so every every job is different, uh, no matter what we think about it. <laughs> so he's going to make quick work of that, and then, because they're already on us, they know we're here, and they don't like, and they don't care about my feelings. It's so horrible. I promise you, they do not care about <laughs> All right, here come the little bastards. They want you to feel nothing. I think you can just take one side of those off, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, and then I got to knock down some more because because they don't care about my feelings. Now, Hosh's feelings, on the other hand. There we go. All right, will that separate? You might need the pry bar to separate it. There you go. All right, here we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at all that under there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do both, unless I can get it out there. All right, you want on? on okay, very good. Now let me get on the other side of you. Okay. Because I'm going to knock them down here because right now this is the only way they can come off. we got to mitigate this a little bit, guys. It's going to be enough of a zoo, enough of a nightmare for everybody. So this non-toxic spray adhesive that we use, you've seen us use it a thousand times. And we're trying to get this separated and not ruin the phone line. And so this, by spraying this in the air under the trailer, is simply uh, sticking their wings together so they can't fly. We've got enough of these little bastards out here already, and it's going to be a complete knacker because obviously it looks like it's hanging about three feet down, wouldn't you say, Hosh? Mm -hmm. Something like that? Mm -hmm. I mean, look at all the guard bees, and I mean, this is just what I like to call a fucking nightmare. That's English. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we need to pry this one little thing off here. We need to pry this off of here, Hosh. 
Well, will that come off? No, it's attached to this section. Okay, well, here, I'll We're use... not going to pull this down, right? Are you sure? I don't know. Whatever you're doing, i got to keep doing this. Yeah. Wow, that's all the way down to the ground. Yeah. All right, so we're knocking them down, guys. There's no honey in there at this point, so mitigate, mitigate. Mitigate, mitigate. Sounds like a submarine. Here, we want to lay this flat? Yes, please. Now let's move this shit out of the way. There we go. Okay. All right, here, you want to grab this? Yep. i got to start knocking through these. to it. Little fucker down. All right, down you go, you little bastard. Crazy bees. No, these are insane. These are absolutely insane. Uh, I just have to knock down as many as I can. See them around already. Mm -hmm. Flooded. Going around. Uh, I just have to keep doing this, knock down as many as I can. Hopefully they'll stay on this end and not go down to where the horses are. Boy, they feel like hail on my gloves. Yep, they literally feel like hail on the rubber suit and they are dripping venom big time. I can't even see where my drip is going on there. Wow, huh? Yeah. Huge hive. We don't even know how extensive it is yet. Uh, would you rather get some more with you? You bet. You're going to have to take that with you. Okay. You hear that? Yeah, got that was quite a, like that. Yep. quite a change. Yeah, you hit a cloud or something. You mm -hmm. really did a job on them right there. God damn it. I got so many on my gloves. You know what they're doing? Hmm. I've seen them do this where they will aim for the nozzle to clog it up. Yeah. Sacrifice themselves. Like I said, these are berserker bees. Yep. Yep. Oh, there we go. Here, I'll trade you, trade you out. Just got it going. Okay. Now, would you trade me out? Yep. Get the shit out of that go one. for it. Yep. So, this other goal here is to knock down, oh, 100, maybe 50 or 75,000 of these so that we can uh, look, look at this, folks. This is like Nat Geo shit right here. Yeah. Amazing. So, bees crawling around on the ground that can't fly make me happy. Yeah, wow. this this thing's no good. Is it? On nah. The Would you hand me the uh, clamp, actually? Yep. So I can just get it going. Now that we've got, we've knocked down twenty thousand. Yeah. So far. You want another can going? Yeah. Just by your hand. I'm gonna get this one clamped. Mm -hmm. Chad, clamp it. Wow, guys, stick with us. This is huge. I don't even know how far back in it goes, but this is kind of a record breaker right here, I can tell. Uh, I think we can keep the, uh, keep the uh, uh, stuff off the limb. <laughs> right. Stuff off the track. So, you see how it's 
quiet it down a lot, everybody? It's not over. They're all, the ones that are in reserve are in between the comb right now. Yeah. I mean, I just am quite shocked how it's at the size of it. Yeah. And I'm sure it goes up in. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got to knock down some more before we even lay under a second. Glad we didn't deal with the electrical shit here. That's handy. Yeah, I, I'm not sure this phone line's active. Oh, uh, man, we don't want to yank it anyway. Mm -mm. But we have to determine as if the comb goes that way. Right. Or you. Right. And I don't see any through the crack here. That's no, the end of it. It kind of stops right there. Yeah. So that'd be handy. But we have knocked down, uh, and the Latin for it is um sheet load. Lot, and I, you know, anybody out there, uh, don't mess with these at home. I mean, we're trained. I've been doing it for 30 some odd years. Um, and we're both licensed. Do not, if you're, if you live in, in Arizona and you do not, and you hire someone on license to do this kind of shit for you with these bees, you are risking a lawsuit because they can sue you if they're not licensed. You're just outside the law. So don't do it. Get licensed. Just don't do it. Call Grandcoachy County. Just call them, for God's sake. Yeah. I mean, and don't do it yourself because if they blow up and sting a neighbor, you're liable. That's right. Like, if, we, you're, we, if you're still alive. Right, right. You know? Damn. Well, it's gotten a lot quieter. Yeah. It's not over, but it's gotten quieter. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, do we have a rug in the I know we do. We should, because I ain't laying on these damn bees. Okay. Can I hand you that? Because they're going to hurt me. Yeah. They don't care about well, my Well, we could bees. flip that thing over, too. I think they're screws. Well, well I think Should we so. try it? Yeah. Well, we can look at well, it. Let me try and get my hand in there. I think it was just held up by the... By the pair of its chitty chin chin. All right. Here we go. We're still going to be knocking down a bunch of these little bits. I just don't want to lay down on these goddamn things. Yeah. Oops, I'm blowing it right at him. Shit, I gotta get you out of the drift. <laughs> Sorry there, host. Well, there's screws. Be careful, there's screws up here. All right, well, we don't want to get caught on any. That's the point. Okay. Now, it was being held up by... Okay, but, you get some bins? Yeah, please. Start pulling stuff down? Let's, yeah, let's get some bins and garbage bag, apparently, because it looks like some empty stuff yeah, there. Up, yeah. yeah, we got a lot of... Okay, I'm going to prop this up to knock down a million more of these little bastards. I tell you guys, this is um, beyond the call of duty. Uh, flashlight, please. Oh, wait. No, I got the, I don't see the flashlight, but I got the, uh, I got the lantern I'm going to grab. Yeah. Holy fuck. I tell you guys, I'm impressed. The, and the, Well, we did good because the horse and the mule are still standing there. And so the bees are concentrating on us. That's good. No one in their right mind would say that shit. But I didn't want the horse to get stung. But Charlie was good enough to go get on his bee suit and go back. And uh, But this, this type of shit should not be done by a beekeeper, should not be done by anyone that doesn't, you know, that has not been trained completely in how to deal with these little monsters. All right, so we got to watch for snakes, too, because Charlie was saying... It's Snakeville. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that, guys. It's absolutely huge. Holy crap. Is that... Oh my god, Hosh. This is like Matt Geo shit right here. Oh my god. We are going to have to pull that down. The other side. Yep. Yep. So, um, if you want to make sure that we don't damage the, um, you know, the thing. Let me put junk comb in here. Okay. Lift, oh, wow. the, lift that up and over. Yeah, it's great. They built around it. So he's gonna have to pull that off, and then we pull that one off. So you see how many we've knocked down that initial onslaught, everybody. That's a big old case of holy shit, is what that is. Oh my god, it's just really phenomenal. Holy shit, is this other camera capturing? Yeah, the one on the bottom. Okay, very good. Holy shit, guys, what a fucking deal, huh? I tell you guys, thank you so much for taking care of us with the, the vests and the and the microphones and the look at this and uh, and all the you know support. Also, my God, we actually need it. Obviously, it's gonna pay for our therapy bills and shit. Well, Hosh is. <laughs> hey, you want to show show them what's over there, Hosh? Wow. Here, show them what's over this there. This is awesome. Like <laughs> This is awesome. He said. <laughs> We got a putty knife? Uh, no. Not yet. Not yet. We're going to need 
Oh yeah, they're tucked up in. And that is why we don't vacuum. And although I'm really good at stupid. Boy, this is big. Oh wow. Hey Reed. What? What? And that's just what's on top of the plastic. It goes back up under. I think it does. Yeah. I'd say they better would be an understatement, wouldn't it? Yeah. I am going to Holy oh, shit. Yeah, this is Nat Geo shit right here. This is this is worthy. This is you know what I always call these bees, you guys, when we're driving around hosting I out in the bump up? I always tell them these are a worthy opponent. A worthy foe. Amazing, huh? Yeah. So they send out the first brigade. And you notice how quiet it's getting? Yeah. Because I'm a fucking genius. What the hell was that? I don't know, I think... Oh, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I know you're not. She's giggling. Uh. <laughs> Are you watching us? Well, I am now. Ah! I mean, I'm... I'm, watch I'm watching the bees more than you. Are you no shit. Are, did you see on Facebook or YouTube? No. Oh, we're live. But I, I, oh, we are. Okay. Oh, we are. <laughs> Yeah, well, if you want to put it on, just kill her bee guy. And, I mean, when you see the video, you are not going to believe this. She lit up. You, you couldn't see Hosher on. So Charlie would have been, I'm glad he didn't tie into it. Would have been maybe. Did you get a putty knife? Uh, no, I did not get one. Not yet? Yeah, okay. two or three years. We'll see, back in 2016, there were yeah, I'm going to go get one. The You're going to be shocked. This is at least three foot of comb hanging down. And I, I can't even tell you, there's got to be 200,000 bees here. This is really shocking to say the absolutely. We're going to start cutting comb down now and we'll show you, of course. But yeah, if you want to see, um, the initial war is over. Now, that doesn't mean it's over, over because in, in this, all this comb, they're in between, there's another 50,000 or 100,000 tucked up in between the layers of comb, ready for war. You know, ready, they're the backup crew, and boy, are we going to. Yeah, yeah. And so um, it's uh, a, spray. Uh, a spray adhesive. Oh, okay. Knocks their, it locks their wings together. It's non-toxic, right? Wait, what are we doing? Who did? Oh, yeah, well, that's love. That's true love. That's really good. Hold on, I'm kneeling on some damn thing I don't like. Oh, there we go. All right, Hosh is going to start... It's pretty well, tough. It's so tough. This and it's all so welded, old. welded this together. Is way older than three years. Yeah, no, this is years and years old. Uh, I'd say, yeah, yeah, it's closer to it. Yeah, going on ten or something. Uh, I have to un uh, do this. Okay, all right, thank you. Wow, this is um, yeah, this is impressive, everybody. I am thoroughly impressed, and that really sometimes it takes a bit for me to say without tears. Oh, shit, this is top stuff. Thank you, but what about the... Anyway. Okay, we're running our battery on our yeah. light, uh, which I will get more, but I just want everybody to see this. So, Hosh is going to be giving his chickens a lot of... Well, this is honey. You see that there? Up here? That's honey. A little bit. Huh? Yeah, right we're, we're going to get into some honey. That's... Yeah. Uh, Yeah, and the, well, this time of year also, you know, because where they store the honey is their pantry. And in the winter, of course, they're eating on it. And then uh, this, yeah, yeah, boy, are they. They're busy as proverbial bees, right? Holy shit. Look at Host just tearing it up. It's all empty, but now we're going to. Now we're going to, you're going to, you know what I, what it might want to do is take a putty knife and cut yeah. it where it's not usable. Yeah. Yeah. So they haven't been in between the layers yet, but we haven't gotten into the inside. We did. Oh, it's down. We're leaning, we're kneeling on it. Oh, you are. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There was no choice. It was a lot easier, and but it was just a complete nightmare. I mean, I can't wait for you to see the bit. This is absolutely. Is that honey? Yeah, it is. This down here. No, yeah. up above that is though. Yeah, but this is, all kind of, this is all oh, pollen. Okay. Well. All right, we'll throw that in. We'll separate it out. Oh, look at all that pollen, everybody. Wow, Viking land. Have we settled them? Huh? I probably should have made you a deal with his bee boxes that he had. 
uh, like I want them. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know what we do? People ask me how many hives you got, and I tell them hundreds all over the county mm -hmm. under people's trailers mm -hmm. and in their walls. Mm -hmm. So we literally take the money and the honey. And so I, well, I don't keep bees anymore. Oh, hell no. It's way too dang. You know, I used to have bees in the late 80s up by the tunnel in Bisbee. Uh -huh. And uh, in the early 90s, the African eyes started moving in. And that was when I got calls from all the ranchers around, you know, um, even like Tom Moorhead and, and uh, old, um, old man, um, oh, for God's sake, up uh, Mor Morin, old man Morin, George Morin's dad. Uh, you know, old friends that had bees and everybody had a couple of hives and all the ranchers were like, uh, can you come get these damn things? Uh, I can't get near my hives anymore. And I'd explain to them, of course, you know, what was going on. And sometimes they'd have a, a you know, like this. This, this is really, Nat Geo shit. Sometimes they'd have a shed or under a trailer or something that would have 500 pounds of comb. So, to hell with keeping bees, I take the money and the honey. You know, to hell with that noise. I mean, I don't need to put them anywhere. They're going to do it all by themselves. Look at this, it runs right through the middle of the hive. Oh, yeah, the, the, the telephone wire runs right through the middle of the hive. Look at that's all honey, Hosh. Yeah. You're gonna have to cut that into manageable widths, but you want to take out a nice big piece and show everybody. Take it out in the sun. This this is truly Nat Geo shit. You want to stand that up? Can you? Badger? Look at that. Oh wow! That's all honey. Yeah, I see. Now there's sheet after sheet after sheet of that. Yeah, my uh, neighbor uh, had an abandoned tree at his place there. Well, this is up in Uh huh. Well, trees, trees are a pain in the ass to get honey from. Oh no, they, the bees had abandoned it. So I don't know. Oh, that makes it a lot easier. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> but also, once you cut into a tree, there's sawdust everywhere. You know, I don't usually uh, get any honey out of trees. We, you know, what we, how we put it, the honey's secondary. Mm -hmm. We mitigate the threat. Yeah. Like these bees, there was enough bees here to kill 20 or 30 horses. Yeah, they have, uh, yeah, public safety. It, oh yeah. That's why we had to rescue a fireman trapped in his house the other night in Sierra Vista. We had to rescue the Douglas Hospital. I mean, we, you know, it's easier to ask where we haven't rescued, but, you know. That light is really making it hard for me. Yeah. Uh, do you want? A, what do you want? Are you? Oh, you need to get over here. Yeah. You need to get over here because of the sun. We. Yeah, we need to trade places. Uh, I can go around. Actually, I just wanted to run away from the bees. <laughs> okay, I'm fucking with you. Uh, and you know what? We did such a good job that the horse and the and the mule are still out there un, unfazed. Oh, good. I was so worried with good reason. Well, they were hitting my window pretty good over on the other side. I'll put my window blind. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, we tried to keep them contained here. I mean, by that I mean we are the enemy. All right, here's another one. Yeah. thought I'd get ahead of the game a little bit for once in my life. For once in my life, I have honey that needs me. Say what again? Oh, the mile a minute weed. <laughs> you know, it's hard to hear you because I have a buzzing in my ear. 